Hey guys, welcome to the He Command YouTube channel. I'm Mordecai, founder and CEO of He Command. And if you didn't watch the previous video, make sure you do it right now because this one is part two. In the previous video, I showed you how I built this one product store. And on this video, I will be showing you how we create the video ads and how we made the finishing touches to the store. So it's pretty much ready for launch for ads. And just before we continue, guys, I'm putting a lot of work on this video. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, like and comment below if you want more videos like this or just to spread the love and give me a big heart in the comments. So I will see you in a few seconds. Let's get started. So just before we get started, let me introduce you. Daniel Aloni is one of the Ecom Hunt uh, mentors. He is a six figure uh, setter himself and is our content writer on the blog. So if you're following the Ecom Hunt blog and you love the amazing posts that we're sharing on a weekly basis, Daniel is the man behind all of this amazing content and he's with us on this video and he will explain us exactly the changes that he made on the, this page that I've created in a previous video to help us get a better conversion and actually make sales. So, hey Daniel, say hi to the audience and let's get started right away. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Happy to be here. And let's uh, let's begin with what I did in the store. Okay, so first of all, I added the little buy love the boots link in the here, as you see it, with a heart, a little heart. It's a it's a cool cool thing to add. If you click on it, you'll just go to the product page. Click on it. Simple as that. Nothing uh, too crazy. Okay. Uh, after that, I added an about us page. And here is our About Us page where I just wrote a bit of description about our boots, about uh, their features like their waterproof and uh, code to do high quality warm fleece fur and super stylish. On the right side, you can see the picture Mordecai did. It's a nice addition to the About Us page with uh, that promo, huge winter sale discount. And basically, if you don't know how to write an about us page, you can either go to Fiverr and pay up to five bucks, I think. Ten, 10 is the maximum for it, for someone to do it for you. If you want to save money, just go to a different store that's selling maybe with different shoes and take inspiration from their text. Just, you know, to save your money. Next step is the tracker order page. Here we can see the tracking page which is done the, by the parcel panel app it's it's a free and not free theme it costs uh, app sorry it costs uh, nothing for the first 20 orders a month so basically if you open a uh, one product store you don't have to pay right away that's cool um yeah that's the app it has like some features free and some paid but like i said don't pay for it when you're just creating your store and have no orders, save your money. And as you can see, the tracking page looks really nice and that's all we need basically. Uh, next in line is the contact us page is really important to have it. It sends a message to our customers that we are approachable. You can, they can contact us. Uh, just before we continue, a few words about the menu. Since it's the first thing that your audience will see when they land on your store, you want to make sure that you have the right pages and guys, these pages are the pages that we use on every store that we create. So in our opinion, it's the must have pages. If you want to just get started with a store, because one, you have a call to action that will drive them to the product page. If in case you're driving people to the home page, the second one is about us. You need to tell your audience, what's your story, who are they buying from, why they should buy from you. So this is the about us page. And you have the track your order page, which, which adds a bit more of trust to your store. That means that you're actually sending those packages and they can actually track the order using this page. What it will also do is it will reduce the amount of tickets that you're getting from customers. So instead of sending you a message where my order is, they can simply go to the website and check them, check it themselves. And the last one is the contact us page. This is also important. Like Daniel said, this page basically tells them that they can reach you any time of the day, any time of the week. They, they can go to the contact us page and they can send you a message about their purchase or about your product or about your store in general. So now that we have covered the main menu, 
Let's move on to the, uh, the footer menu. Exactly, we'll jump directly to the end of the page. And here we can see that Daniel added those uh, quick links and this tiny text here. Daniel, just a few words about what you did here. Uh, yep, so in the quick links, I added the three most important pages, uh, the policies, the terms, the terms of service, refund policy and the privacy policy. This can be easily done in the in the settings of our shop let's go to settings and here we need to navigate to legal so as you can see we, i already generated the the policies you just click generate um, edit a bit of information like your uh, regular email or the address you can delete it or keep it uh, whatever you want and click save these are already saved and once we have it saved we go to the navigation menu again like last time but this time we go to the footer menu. Uh, let's add a menu item. Let's uh, terms of service, just for example. And below we choose uh, policies, I think. We have it ready. Yeah, policies. And we have like one one policy you can choose, terms of service, and add it. That's it. Just cancel it. And we're done. Basically do it like three times. And you have it in the footer as we have it here. Uh, I added some text on the join newsletter. On the newsletter above the title, I just added like uh, join it for special discounts. So it looks better. And a small te text and description about our uh, like winter boots, as you see here. Cool, cool. Just uh, one more thing, guys. When you're doing this kind of stuff on your website, don't forget that people that leave their email on your store this is your email list. So you will be able to create an email list of buyers. Every time someone purchases on your store, it will go directly on a list of buyers. And you can do also lists of non-buyers, of potential customers. So if someone lands on your page and leaves his email here, it will automatically go to a list of non-buyers of potential customers. And obviously, you will be able to send the messages via email and try to convince them, come back to your store with some amazing discounts to buy from your store. So don't waste your real estate uh, on the website. You have a lot of space. You are bringing traffic to your store. You are paying money to bring this traffic. Make sure you make the most out of these people. Let's go back to the top of the page and talk a bit about the banner. So this banner on the previous video was cropped when we uh, went to mobile version. Now I fixed it. It required a bit of coding. So if you're not a code person and you have no idea what coding is, you can just go to Fiverr, find a developer for five to $10. It's an easy fix for someone that this is what it does for a living. So this is option number one. Option number two, just make a tiny banner so it looks good both on mobile and both on desktop. That's your options. You decide which one you prefer better. Also make sure that the banner is actually a button. So if they click here, they will go to the product page. Otherwise, it's a useless banner. Let's move on to the customer's uh, reviews here. Daniel, did you make some changes on this part here? Yeah, maybe I shortened the text here and there, but uh, like I kept it as it is. It was good. Okay, so we can just move on to the features of the product. Okay, so on the features uh, section, uh, Daniel made uh, a bit more uh, tweaks to the copywriting. Guys, copywriting is the most important part when you're selling online because this is pretty much your salesman. This is the, the, the part that your audience will read and this will convince them. The job of this text is to basically to convince them to, to purchase your product. So Daniel uh, got some really uh, BS skills when it comes to copywriting. Obviously, he's writing the blog posts and everything. So he's obviously the man to, to do this kind of stuff. I'm less better in this. So Daniel took the job and made us amazing copy for the different features of the shoes. As you can see here, if, if you go to the previous video, you can compare and see exactly the changes he made. But this is really amazing. So let's scroll down to the product. As you can see here, Daniel already made some changes. The first one is 
the before discount price. I also mentioned that on the previous video that we need to add this. So Daniel added this. He made this tiny badge of sale to make it look more, to create some kind of uh, urgency, some kind of uh, scarcity. And then we have this uh, new description. So it basically took what I did and improved it like with the rest of the text on the website. And he gave it like a really refreshing touch. And you can see like it starts with the, the brand name and then like warm and stylish winter boots. So this is pretty much what the product is. Um, then we have this uh, five stars here and a review from a customer that the goal of these reviews is to basically add more and more trust. So as we move on on the page, as we move on on the, 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 the store and we scroll and we navigate, our goal, our end goal is to build as much as we can trust with the visitors. So because imagine yourself going on a new store, you're a total stranger. You don't know these guys. You don't know if they're, they're loyal. You don't know anything about them. So your goal as a store owner is to convince them that they can trust you. So you do it by adding trust all the time. You add more trust and more trust and more trust. So this is what we did with the entire page. As you scroll down, you see that we are adding and adding and adding trust to the store to make them want to buy from us and to trust our store. So this is what Daniel did here as well. He added this uh, uh, review here from a customer and those pictures are here to help the customer make the decision because sometimes they see those pictures here, but it's not enough. You want to give them a bit more. You want to show them a bit more of the product, different uh, uh, views, different shots, close up, uh, and etc. So this is what Daniel did here. Also, what he did is adding picture and talk again about the features of the shoes. And as you can see here, he always changes the words that he use when he, he talks about those features to make the store dynamic and all bold to not repeat yourself all the time, because eventually at some point it's kind of a lack of creativity. So make sure you're always using different words to make it refreshing. So it's kind of when you're scrolling down, you, you're consuming new content as you go on the page and not just repeating the same thing all over again. So this is what I did here. It shows a bit more of pictures, uh, the anti-slip sole and uh, the full inside, some pictures. This is a good picture. Then we have this uh, a sizing chart that he added also. And you can see here, he customized this picture by telling them they should take one size from your original sizing. And the reason he did it is because when we checked the product on the previous video, we saw that many people actually purchased one size above because they were scared to get a small shoe that would not fit. So we made sure to tell the customers on the page as well that they should take one size above one size bigger. And the reason we were telling them this is because we don't want to mess around with customers that ordered the wrong size. This is a pain. They will have to ship back the, sh the boots and then you need to confirm that you got the boots and then you need to send them uh, a new size. And all of this takes time and takes uh, from your cash flow. And man, this is a pain. You don't want to be there. Trust me, just tell them to take one size bigger and that's it. <laughs> Okay, so I'll continue to here. We have this uh, five uh, reasons to buy from us. And again, he's reminding them about the huge discount that we are offering. He explains here what they're getting in the package when they order. This, he kept it the same from the previous video, it's the same thing. And the footer, we already talked about the footer. So let's quickly jump to the product page and see what we did here. Okay, so Daniel, can you uh, like share with us the changes that you made on this page? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. So the first thing you see here are the reviews, the small text below the price and the quantity discount app below plus the little trust badge above it. So I'll begin with the, with the small text just below the price. The small text you see here, the 50% off and free shipping deal is from the Ultimate Sales Boost app, which is a free and paid app. I use the free version and so should you. Uh, I'm using the free version because first of all, we're not, we still don't have any sales. We don't have any traffic, so I don't want to pay for anything for now. And if I can get it for free, that's good. 
Um, this app also provides the trust badge, as you see it uh, below the add to cart button. And it has features like uh, a scarcity timer, which is also f in the free version. But I didn't currently add it because, again, we don't have any sales. We don't have enough information. I don't know if it's going to improve or maybe it's going to make it worse. So once we get traffic, once we get enough sales, we're probably going to test the scarcity timer and see if it helps the store, if it improves our conversions. And yeah, that's the reason behind, behind that. Next in line is the quantity discounts. So first of all, we're selling one product now, so we don't have any more products. So the only thing I'm going to add here to increase our average order value are quantity discounts. There's two main things I want to talk about here. So first thing is the discount. Please don't be cheap and offer a normal discount. I saw so many stores offering 5% discount for two items or even 3%. No one is going to take this uh, deal. It's a bad deal. So, uh, you know, don't be a joker. You can see here I added a 20% discount on two items and for each additional item, I jump by 5%. I think it's fair. It's a good discount. I have a, I have a higher chance of getting people to get more than one pair. I also added a little a small text above it, a title, just to order two pairs and get an additional discount. So people like know that they have a 50% discount and an additional discount on top of a 50% discount of the shoes. The app doing this is the unlimited uh, bundles and discounts by Revy apps. I think it will be in the description. This app isn't free, cost I think uh, $10 a month. But the good thing about this app is that it is completely free with all its features for the first product. And as we run the store, the one product store, we have only one product. So this app is completely free with no, no limits. And uh, yeah. We, I use it completely for free. I'm not paying a single cent. That's, that's cool. I like to save where, where, whenever I can just to, to keep my money for the important stuff like the ads, testing products and stuff like that. Okay. So this is about the, uh, pricing, uh, breakdown. It's a really cool feature. You should definitely have it on your pages to increase your average order value or how the professionals say AOV. Okay, so I'm scrolling down and this is it. Let's scroll down to the end of the page and see what we have here. So obviously if you have a store, you want to have reviews on your products. And the reason behind it is people buy when they see reviews. So if you want to buy from a store, like take yourself for example, if you go to a store that you don't know, a brand new store that you have no idea who is behind it, and you will see zero reviews, um, trust me, you will probably end up not buying from that store unless you really like the product. We don't want to take our chances. We know that the product is good, but the buyers don't know if the product is good. And obviously you're the salesperson and as a buyer, I can choose to, to, to believe the seller or not to believe the seller. But if a customer jumps in the store, like imagine you go to an offline store and you buy, I don't know, this, uh, uh, pop figure and you, you're just not sure about buying it or not. And then a stranger comes in and he says, yeah, I have the same one. It's perfect. Like it's a really cool uh, product and he does all of this and that you will instantly believe him more than the seller because he doesn't have anything. He is not getting any cut from your purchase in the store unless it's a setup that the store owner is doing to trick people. But that's, that's not the case, okay guys? So you need to have uh, reviews on your store because this is the strangers that jumps in when the customers is deciding if they wanna buy or not. And by reading these reviews and seeing pictures and stuff, this is what will make them uh, maybe want to buy or not. So make sure that you invest a lot on this section. Daniel, do you want to add something about the reviews? Yes, uh, just one thing. I, uh, well, after importing the reviews, I, I want the best pictures to, to be on top. So once uh, the customer scrolls down, he sees like the best pictures first and you see like people, I think for these shoes, people wearing them are the best uh, kind. Like uh, you see here and yeah, that's it. Okay guys, this is it about the store. The store is ready. We'll be launching ads probably uh, today, Daniel, today. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So today we'll be launching some ads. I want to show you the the, the video ad that we actually uh, created for this uh, uh, store. But just before, if you have more questions about the store that we have created, you can comment below, ask your questions, and we will answer those questions in our next videos. Also, all the links to the apps that we mentioned will be in the description as well. Those apps are free. We make sure to use free stuff. We don't want to waste money before making money. This is our like uh, thumb rule. So make sure to follow this rule as well. You don't want to just throw your money away because this money will help us in the marketing phase. Okay, guys, now let's jump quickly to the video that we have created for the uh, product. Do you remember this file, guys? This is the file I've created where we uh, type in all of the stuff that we're doing on the store and the links and etc. We will be using them all over the journey with this store. It's very useful. I strongly suggest you to do this as well when you're uh, creating stores and when you're launching product. It helps you to stay organized. So let's go back to the Facebook ad that exploded with a similar product. I show it on the previous video as well. We showed it in the previous video as well. So just a quick reminder, this uh, video almost reached 1 million views about a year ago. And this is a retargeting ad. We see it because we have low shares and comments. So it doesn't make any sense, the comments and the views. Therefore, we know it's a retargeting ad. Now let's watch the ad again, just as a reminder, reminder as well. So they're showing off the product, they're showing uh, uh, what it looks like from clothes, the material, another close-up uh, shot, and then they show the inside that it's warm, and the anti-water uh, test, and eventually they will also show us the elastic sole to make them understand it's comfortable. Some extra shots of the shoe, and then a call to action, to order now with a 50% off discount. Now, what I like to do is to simply copy the structure of successful videos in the same niche. So when I'm deciding to sell a product, well, what I will do first is to look for viral videos with similar products. And then what I do is to copy the storytelling of this video because this already proved to work. It has almost 1 million views. So obviously if I uh, replicate the same structure of the video, the same uh, storytelling, we have higher chances to have a winning video ad on Facebook. So let's see what we did here. Let's play this from the start. This is it, this is the video. As you can see, we made pretty much the same video. Like we started with showing off the product like they did in action. And then we moved on to showing the inside of the shoe. The same thing they did as well. The elastic sole, waterproof test. We're showing them, we have multiple colors, so it's important to show them that they can purchase in different colors. So if you're selling a product with a few variants, make sure to sell it as well in your videos to make them wanna buy. Because if they don't like the black or the blue one, maybe they will like the red or the white shoe. So make sure you show them that you have different variants. A quick close up. And a call to action to make them want to buy. This is the video that we have created and we'll be using this video in the marketing ads that we're going to launch today. If you want to learn how to make these kind of videos, I have a full course that I'm teaching from A to Z. So you don't need to have any knowledge about video editing. The link is in the description. It has a huge discount. The price will be increased when we reach 100 students. So make sure you jump on this offer and take it as soon as possible before the price uh, increases. This course will teach you everything, guys, everything about video editing. So you will be able within 
two hours to create this kind of ads. This is it about the course. Let's quickly jump to one last thing, back to the store. Before selling, before starting pushing traffic to a store, you wanna make a few tests and the most obvious test that almost, I don't know, many people forget to do is to actually purchase from yourself to experience the buying process of your store, to, to experience the funnel. So let's try it right now, add to cart. It will take us to the cart page. Uh, we can already see that Daniel made some changes here as well. Instead of telling them that uh, taxes and shipping costs will be added on the checkout page, will, which will uh, uh, result a drop on your cart page. So if people add to your cart and then you see that people uh, just leave your store, this is one of the main reasons. So make sure that you are actually consistent about your offers, discounts, and not scaring customers away. So this is what Daniel did here. Yeah, this free shipping is automatically applied. So once you fix this, you can go to the checkout page. On the checkout page, you can make uh, some cool changes such as putting your logo on top of the checkout page. If you have express checkout with PayPal, you can, when you hook PayPal, basically, you will have this quick checkout button here, which is cool as well to have. So one tiny change Daniel did here is the shipping text. Usually it says calculated on the next step. We don't want them to think that we're going to add shipping costs because we said it's free. So obviously we did uh, this text here. We said it's shipping and it's free. You can do these kind of changes on the uh, language file of your theme. You can change any uh, uh, static text on your website using this uh, file. Let me quickly show you how you can do it. So you go to the online store, you go to your themes, then you click the actions and this button here, edit language. And then you have all the different uh, sections of your website. Here is the text that you're going to change. And here you can type in what you wanna change. So this is how you do it. Very simple, very straightforward. And then we scroll down, we did the same trick. Actually, Daniel did it, the same trick with this button right here. So instead of typing like, uh, I don't know, uh, continue, continue or next or make purchase or yeah. whatever text you have here by default, we like to change it to continue and apply free shipping. So that makes them want to click this button because they know that as soon as they click it, it will apply the free shipping uh, discount. Um, one last thing that I see that Daniel didn't do here and uh, shame on you, Daniel. <laughs> um, we need this, basically, I like to remind them the discount that they're receiving on the checkout page. So I will find my way to add here 50% uh, off. So instead of writing maybe tot subtotal text, I will write uh, uh, price $120 and with a kind of a, a line on it, like scratched and $60 uh, only. So I, I will find a way to add here uh, using the, the, the translation um, a trick that I showed you a few seconds ago to add my text about the discount. So this is something you want to do as well. And this is it, guys. This is it. We're going to launch the store today. We're going to send like uh, our first visitors, our first potential buyers today to this store. If you like the video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, like and comment below what you want us to talk about on the next videos. This is it guys. Thank you Daniel for being with us on this video. I hope Thank that you. we will see you Thank again you. on the next videos that we will do. And if you want Daniel to be in the next videos, comment below. Comment below if you want to hear him again. He has a ton of value to share and he's shy. So we want to make that happen. Comment below, guys. I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.